Hi, I'm Suresh Venkat. You're watching FaceTime with Jagdish Mitra, Head Mobility Business at Tech Mahindra. Mr. Mitra, welcome to the show. Thank you, Suresh. My first question for you. The four big themes of this, uh, uh, this, this uh, NASCOM conference are the VUCA environment, crafting the digital enterprise, and the next wave in IT. So my first question to you, what's the next wave in mobility? Well, I think the next wave in mobility is uh, really all-encompassing. I mean, if you look at the impact that mobility has across all aspects of life today, it needs to cover a significant portion of it to make a difference. So today, I think we only use it to recover, receive content and to more of discover content. I think it becomes more a tool to create solutions and to be able to work at solutions that give business solutions to enterprises. What I mean by that is, I think the next wave in mobility is to really digitally enable an enterprise to be able to move away from what was brick and mortar to online to what the mobile world can offer. What are going to be the three big killer apps in turning <clears throat> mobility, which is a fun device for personal use, into an effective business tool? What do you think are the three big killer apps that you see in the future? I don't think there is any specific killer app for, especially I'm talking here enterprise, okay? So I'm not going to, there is video in general, which is the big uh, technology innovation in terms of how to, how to use it across different devices. But there isn't going to be a single killer app, I think. The way it's going to work out is that every enterprise, every vertical is going to have its own set of business processes aligned to a mobile world. And this is different than moving what you have on internet to be accessible on mobile. That's not mobility. Mobility is about changing the way you do things. So that's why I took that example of saying, when we did brick and mortar business, we did it in a different way. When we do the online business, we did it in a different way. Now the mobile world will do it in a very different way. So it will be three key pillars to it I can talk about, which is like, you know, it has to be context, presence, and location. So it has to be really around, any solution that has to be built for mobility will have to be around these three pillars. With such a profusion of uh, mobile <coughs> operating systems and mobile platforms and uh, new ones like Jolla and Sailfish being invented even as we speak, how difficult is it for you from an enterprise side to sort of create an interoperable cross platform mobile ecosystem as it were? It is challenging because, you know, as you said in the previous question, it's a lifestyle. So devices and operating systems will constantly try to evolve and bring in new differences. Uh, while enterprise, on the other hand, wants to look What's at standard, like uniformity, and, uniformity and usage. So, uh, you know, you have concepts like, you know, enterprise mobility platforms and so on and so forth, which try and create a layer or mobile device management, which try and create a layer of standardization across it. The way some enterprises are doing it right now is... Um, what shall, the way to put it across is they're trying to keep a standard set of operating systems and devices that are allowed because a lot of enterprise data has to be a lot more secure than what your personal data can or cannot be. And that depends on the consumer himself. But the enterprise is very paranoid about how that data gets accessed. So, Would you then standardize the Windows platform? Because I would imagine a lot of other enterprise solutions and apps run on the Windows platform. Would that be the platform for No, not for necessarily. I mean, Windows is a good platform for sure. And with the accent on what they're doing jointly with Nokia, as well as with the operating system, obviously being well in tune with what the backend systems are. But enterprise systems don't run on Windows. Okay. Enterprise systems, as you know, run on large scale databases like Oracle or SAP or even other analytic databases. So it will still be around the standard Android applications or iOS or Windows. So these three start to play a much bigger role. Let's be, let me ask you the same question from the point of view of an SME. Indian SMEs are notoriously famous for under-investing in technology and being scared of obsolescence and sunk costs and legacy systems. What kind of solutions can enterprise mobility offer the Indian SME? Tremendous set of solutions. And I think... Uh, Specifically for in the Indian SME, there is a huge opportunity here to, you know, leapfrog and go into a scale of business which really uses the digital world effectively. Okay. You know, like we did, and this is all brought in by the change of mobility. And it's because so, in the cloud, I imagine. It's because in the cloud. So the way it will work really and the way we are offering solutions is that it's going to be on a use basis. Most of these guys do not need to own assets. They need to look at outcomes. So whether it's a small 
a factory or it's a small retail chain or it's a smaller business which is actually wanting to make sure its sales force automates the way it reports data and can take advantage of selling of what is available in the inventory for example those are things that can be done much based on outcome so they don't need to worry about whether you are actually owning servers or owning computers not at all owning. not at all so the cloud the analytics and mobility so if you look at our pr proposition we are actually calling it not just mobility analytics and cloud but we are calling it the network mobility analytics and cloud and security so we think the network domain part of it is critical to make it work do you see a, a lot of business growth coming in from both the sme and the mid segment sector in india definitely i mean in in india i think uh, if i were to draw parallels and peers of growth um, in other online business not necessarily a competition but online business movement for smes to moving towards a mobility driven business it's much higher here right mr mitra my final question to you three things that you can see from your vantage point in the mobile business that many leaders in india are missing today three things that they have blind spots about well i think the first thing is that i don't think they are thinking big enough okay in the sense as i said um i see Peace mobility a little bit here yeah, and there so it's the cool application here and it looks nice there so no all that strategy overall it's you'd say it's not a mobile strategy which means how do i change my business process and take advantage of what it can offer to me okay. that's not happening so there is no deep rooted i mean i say no i mean most of them Very don't little. have second thing that i think people are paranoid unnecessarily about too much about the security issues while it needs to be controlled for sure but today in the world it really depends on what you want people to know and there is enough applications and uh, services available so there's too much paranoia about security which needs to go away third is i think the ability for people to be able to collaborate okay. and look at you know so that's the consumer version of sharing okay right so which i think the social impact of how that will impact the business is not very well visible so very few people are using the social applications or solutions to drive a lot of their customer feedback customer solutions how do we connect with the customer that part is missing okay if i were to paraphrase you so develop mobile strategy don't be so paranoid and develop a social enterprise network that you can use to leverage internal and external to collaborate with both internal and external players mr mitra thank you for talking to us pleasure pleasure thank you